Hey, what's up, everybody? Karma Sengi here. And I know it's been a couple of months since my last uh, video, but, uh, and I'll explain why. Um, you know, I did my last video, actually, my first video back in February. I believe it was, I posted it on the 27th of February. Uh, and today it is April 16th of, you know, the same year, 2019. And, uh, sorry, my glasses are completely. Uh, dirty. I guess I should have done this before, but all right, there we go. Um, and so I just wanted to tell everybody like what my progress has been, uh, and so forth. So, um, since the last time I've actually been doing a lot of research, I haven't been doing a lot of studying, uh, so much, um, as much as I wanted to anyway, uh, I got kind of into this groove of, you know, finding the best way to learn, uh, Japanese. And so, you know, I was kind of scattered all over the place looking at different things. And, you know, I was doing a ton of research and I first went and I purchased the book Genki One. And I started to go through it and I, I found myself bored uh, of the content in it. I wasn't learning it very well. Um, and it seemed like it was more geared toward like college students. Um, and I'm not a college student. <laughs> I'm 42 years old. Um, you know, I have my career and everything. So, you know, a lot of it didn't pertain to me. So I, I didn't really connect and resonate with it. Uh, so, you know, I kind of dumped that on the side. It, my book is actually sitting right over here. Uh, but I haven't looked at it in probably a month, month and a half uh, since probably, um, you know, the beginning of March. Um, and I started to look at Japanese from zero and, you know, I like Japanese from zero. I like George Trombley. Uh, yeah, I think he's very funny. He's a great guy. Um, and, uh, you know, I support him over, uh, on his Patreon. You know, I, I, I like what he's doing. Uh, but the, you know, while it was good material, I still felt like, I, I wanted more. I wanted a clear cut path of you do this, then you do this and you get this. All right. The A plus B equals C, you know, mindset. Um, and so continuing to research, I actually fell upon a video uh, explaining a method called AJAT. And AJAT, for those that don't know, stands for all Japanese, all the time. All right. And the video was from a guy by the name of Matt versus Japan. And I'll actually post a link in the description below. Um, and Matt was talking about AJAT and the mass immersion approach. And it just kind of made sense to me. And I went over on the AJAT website. Um, and again, all the links will be below. Uh, and I just started reading and it's something that I really, really connected with. Uh, so from this point on, I am essentially going to be doing AJAT and AJAT, what it is, is it's a very, very direct immersion approach. So you are listening, uh, to Japanese, you know, nearly 24 hours a day. And, you know, I've set my, my phone's, um, language to Japanese, my computer to Japanese and, and everything I can, my Facebook account is in Japanese, everything's in Japanese and I'm listening to Japanese as much as I can. Um, not 24 hours a day, but that's essentially what you want to do. Um, and just completely immerse yourself into it, but there is literally a structure to it. And so, you know, I decided that I'm going to going to be doing the things that uh, Katsumoto and Matt has done and uh, and following that path. And Katsumoto was the, the person that created All Japanese All the Time website and his methodology. And essentially, he learned Japanese within uh, 18 months and became just incredibly good. Matter of fact, I actually uh, played a couple of videos of his to uh, one of my friends who's Japanese and, and he was, you know, saying similar to, to what, uh, someone had told Matt from Matt versus Japan that if he closed his eyes, he would think that the person was Japanese. And so I was like, yeah, okay. That, that works for me. Um, and all within 18 months and granted, you know, I don't need the whole 18 month thing. Yeah, I can go longer. Uh, it's just, you know, I'm just looking for the best approach to not become, you know, fluent, 
but to become incredibly good in the language. I don't mind if it takes me 18 months or 24 months or 36 months or anything like that. All right. I just want to get incredibly, incredibly good at the language, um, you know, near native level. And I know that that even is still kind of up in there on what exactly does native mean? Well, I kind of want that so that if I speak to someone, maybe over the phone, that my, you know, the words that I use, my, my pitch accent, everything is so perfect that they will actually think that I'm a Japanese person, All right, That is my goal, essentially. So if it takes me five years, fine. If it takes me longer than that, fine. I don't care. I just needed a step-by-step -step system to get me from point A to point B, all right? And one of the first things that you do in AJAP is you immerse yourself, all right, in the language. So I'm listening to, uh, you know, Japanese audiobooks. I'm listening to Japanese news. I'm watching anime uh, like Death Note. And, you know, I've never actually been into anime before. Uh, I was into comic books ages ago when I was a kid, you know, teenager, uh, really, really into comic books. I drew comic books. Um, and I actually almost worked for uh, Image Comics when I was younger, uh, drawing things like Spawn and so forth. Uh, but I was never into anime. And so when um, you know, I got into and I found out about AJAT, one of the things that it recommended was you know anime, uh, anime. And uh, so I decided, okay, well, I'm going to start watching anime and reading uh, manga uh, and so forth. And uh, one of them that I got into is Death Note. And I absolutely love Death Note. Um, it's probably one of the best uh, animes that, that I've seen uh, ever. Um, I really like it. And if you have any uh, thoughts on, you know, better anime or, you know, just different anime things that you think I might like, please post them in this, uh, in the, uh, chat below the comment below and, uh, and let me know. Cause I, I would really like to find other ones. Um, but what I'm doing right now besides the immersion is, uh, I am studying kanji and I'm doing it the RTK way. All right. The re remembering the kanji, uh, way. And so essentially what I'm doing is, uh, you know, I, I'm, I, every day, all day long, uh, as much as I can anyway, I mean, I do have business, I am working with, you know, clients, so I can't um, listen to Japanese as much as I want, all right, but I'm doing it as much as I can, um, and then besides that, I'm learning uh, kanji through uh, two different platforms, Anki, which is uh, an SRS type, uh, platform, uh, on my phone and on, uh, on my computer. And then, uh, I'm also using memorize as well. Uh, memorize. I really like memorize. I, I, I liked the way that it has been, uh, recently it has been changing. And of course it's going to be changing to a platform called Dex. Um, and memorize is going to be something completely different. It's going to be, um, you know, Memrise's own uh, learning platform. Um, so, uh, and Dex is going to be everything that you've created and everything uh, everybody else has created. Uh, you'll be able to get on there. Uh, and apparently it's going to be a free platform and so forth. But uh, Memrise and Anki are pretty much the only thing that I'm doing right now. Um, I'm not really listening or looking at... Um, like uh, Japanese from zero or um, or what was the other one? Um, let, 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 let me see real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Japanese pod 101 is the one that I was thinking of. Um, I'm not really paying attention to uh, Japanese pod 101 anymore, even though I'm a premium member for like a couple of years. Uh, I'm just not paying attention to it uh, that much. I'm essentially just learning kanji learning kanji, learning kanji. Uh, right now I'm at r almost about a thousand kanji, uh, that, that I know, uh, r um, I think somewhere around the neighborhood of, um, 800 kanji that are mature, uh, something like that. Like I I'm not really sure on the stats. I don't have them up right now. Um, 
And then I'm also reviewing what I've learned previously uh, over the past you know couple of months, uh, just so I don't forget it. I, you know, I'm not learning any new words. I'm not learning any new uh, sentences or or anything like that. Um, yeah, I I still study culture. Um, so, you know, some of the videos that I watch on YouTube is going to be on uh, Japanese culture, uh, but they're primarily in English because uh, I don't fully understand uh, the Japanese ones. But, um, you know, I'm listening a lot, uh, doing my kanji and just that's pretty much it is just, you know, doing my kanji. Uh, immersing myself in the language, and then uh, you know maybe about ten minutes a day, I'm reviewing what I've learned uh, you know prior to uh, entering AJAT. Uh, where I'm going in the future, uh, you know, I've been learning a little bit about sentence mining. I haven't been doing sentence mining, but I've been learning how to do it so that when I get out of the phase of kanji after I've learned you know the three thousand kanji. Uh, that I need to know. And, and the, I say 3000 and you might be thinking, well, R RTK is only, you know, 2000 kanji or 2136 or 2200. And, um, and that's true, but I'm going to be finishing up RTK volume one, which is the 2200, uh, kanji. Uh, but then I'm also going to be doing RTK three volume three, uh, skipping to, uh, there's really no point in two, uh, but Volume three introduces like a thousand new kanji. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that right after RTK one and, you know, the, the, the same methodology as, uh, as AJAT and just going through there, busting them out. Uh, and just uh, until I get that done, I'm not going to be doing anything else besides the immersion, uh, the review and, and kanji. That's it. I'm not learning anything new except for kanji. Um, and it might take me a little bit longer uh, than normal. You know, I'm doing 25 cards a day, 25 new cards a day. Um, but my retention isn't as good as I would like it to be. Uh, I know some people are like, you know, 90 you know percent uh, retention rate. Right now I'm at like 78%, uh, something like that. Like, I feel that that's bad. It may not be bad uh, in some people's eyes, but I feel that that's bad, especially since... Uh, like I learned, uh, to be able to use the Tibetan language, which is an insanely hard language, uh, especially the writing system. Um, I, I was able to be able to use Tibetan without any English whatsoever in just like three, four months time. And, you know, I was able to speak no problem without English within three months. Uh, and then three to four months was the time uh, for uh, in the same, you know, three to four months. Uh, you know, I learned all the writing system, uh, how to read and write, uh, speak and understand all within that time. Um, and, uh, you know, so Japanese, it, it feels like, you know, I should be doing better. Uh, you know, with this kanji, learning the kanji, but uh, I guess my stories aren't as great as, you know, I would like them to be. Uh, you know, I have some really funny ones that, that I can remember, uh, but I, I seem to be hitting that again button a lot. And I know that that's kind of bad because it screws up, I guess, the, the Anki uh, algorithm. Uh, but I just can't remember them. And, and a lot of times I'll, I'll just hit good. Uh, so it moves on. And then the next time I see it, maybe I'll hit bad. Uh, but, um, I just wish I was doing better with it. So it may be, it may take me longer than three months. Uh, you know, people say, Oh, you can do it in 90 days. Uh, it may take me five or six months. I don't know. Uh, but I'm trying to do, you know, 25 words a day. Uh, but there are some days where, I don't feel like I just feel so overwhelmed with it that I just take the day off from new cards. I'll do all my review cards, but I won't do uh, any new cards. Um, I also uh, joined uh, Matt versus Japan's Patreon account. Uh, I recommend you do the same. Um, you know, I, I really like Matt and, and his approach. I love his videos. Um, so, you know, I thought I would support him as well, but I'm actually in his discord server. 
uh, you know, partaking, asking questions, uh, answering anything that I can, uh, and so forth. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I, I really like his Patreon. Um, uh, you know, I, I look forward to, uh, to many more discussions within his group. Um, uh, but, uh, I guess that that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I'm looking at my notes here, uh, for this video and I, I've pretty much covered everything. Um, so I, you know, I just want to give an update on what I've been doing and, um, uh, you know, I, hope to be making more videos more often on this channel. Uh, I do have another channel uh, for because I teach marketing and advertising as well as I do marketing and advertising uh, for companies. Uh, and so I do videos over on that channel. I, I actually just posted one yesterday. Um, so, you know, it doesn't leave me a lot of time. Uh, I work, you know, 100 plus hours a week. Um, so it's just you know, a time thing right now, but I will try to do one every couple of weeks, uh, at least to, uh, give you updates on, you know, how I'm doing particularly right now with just my kanji. Um, and maybe I will do videos of me actually doing my kanji where you can see me, uh, you know, creating, uh, different mnemonics and, uh, and doing my reviews and so forth. So, uh, that's all I've got, guys. So uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, to get more videos and leave a comment below. Let me know, you know, uh, what you would like me to talk about uh, and let me know, you know, what you think about AJAT. Have you had any experience with it? Have you not had any experience with it? Uh, you know, what are your thoughts? So until the next video, guys, take care. Peace.